The cheek lift. Who's a candidate for a cheek lift? Well, often younger women are, because one of the first things that happens as we age is the cheek drops. Uh, and the initial attempts to correct that are usually filler, where we put in filler in the cheek and maybe under the eye. We get what's called a tear trough, where we get a little line where you know the tears fall. That's a, sort of a gross term, but it's called a tear trough. Uh, and what we want to do, actually at some point, is lift that cheek and go ahead and pick it up. You can see that when you smile. Okay. Uh, but the cheek lift also diminishes these lines that go from the nose to the mouth. Uh, so we pick those up, and we do that with every facelift we do virtually. Uh, and that really makes a difference because a lot of facelifts look odd because they've lifted this area down here but haven't adequately picked the cheek up, even deep plane lifts. So the mid facelift we can do alone and pick that up. Uh, and we've got a lot of examples of that on the website. Uh, or we can do it with a facelift and balance the structures. So the aging face, neck seems to go right away, neck and jowls, but this mid face you're saying drops. Yeah. So you could either address it where you just put a bunch of fillers on top. Does that even weight it down even more? Uh, no, it actually can lift it. Okay, okay. But at some point you have too much there and you overfill or you're in for fillers all the time and wasting your money So you on just that. reposition that mid face and pick it up? Uh, yeah, we do. And if you look at some of the movie stars, uh, Madonna for instance, you can see in some of her pictures she really looks overfilled. So you can only do so much with filler. Some people inject fat in this area, and that looks okay, but it goes away, and it doesn't look quite right. And you've seen that overfill. Now this, this mid-face cheek lift, how, how soon can they get back to work? Uh, we've had people go back in a couple of days, but they look a little swollen. So if you want to look pretty normal, you know, maybe a week or a weekend on either side, uh, usually look pretty good to go back to work. Is the cheek lift for the younger patient or for the older patient or both? Just depends. Cheek lift just depends. Uh, it can be for the younger person because often that's the first thing that happens. Is And we're talking about that eye under the eyes. It just starts cheek to drop. Cheek falling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we see 22, 25 year olds that we've actually done that procedure on who just drop. People who lose weight and then gain it. That can happen very early or uh, we'll see people who have a facelift, but things don't quite look right. And so what we do, they've not done the cheek lift. So sometimes we can just do the cheek lift. So if their them. neck and jowls are fine, may, but, but the mid face is saggy, the cheek lift. Yeah. Okay. Works real well. And it's one of the most common ways that we revise facelifts. And we do probably a lot of revision facelifts. Our cases are often more complex than the average plastic surgeon.